during my time in our outpatient department that I have seen at least three children had a scar on their body, indicates the organ had been stolen. And in 1995, it comes to my turn to do it. It was a Wednesday. My two chief surgeons called me into the office and told me to assemble a team with capability of the largest possible surgery and report to them next day morning. 9.30 next day, we met at the hospital gate and headed towards the Western Mountain Execution Ground, where I was told to wait for them until hearing the gunshots. After gunshots were heard, we rushed in. An armed officer directed us to the far right corner, where I can see a civilian closed man lying on the ground with a single bullet wound to his right chest. My chief surgeon then ordered me, ordered and guided me, extracted the liver and the two kidneys. The man was alive. He tried to resist my scalpel cut, but too weak to avoid my action. There was bleeding. He was still alive, but I didn't feel guilty. In fact, I didn't feel anything but like a full programmed robot doing its task. I thought I was carrying my duty to eliminate the, eliminate the enemy of the state. After operation, those chief surgeons took these <coughs> organs with uh, two strange looking boxes and they told me to take my team back to the hospital and remember there was nothing happened and I followed order. We never talked about it. It is not acceptable that a normal buy one get one free shopping pattern can be seen in organ transplantation. Pre-date for your heart transplantation means that they, have, they make someone dead for you. Giving away organs to promote business means they have organ of plenty. Unlimited supply of organs only can be achieved if those organs are carried in the living body waiting to be taken on demand. A news broke out last June that CCP is giving Uyghur people in Xinjiang free national health checkup with no explanation why. So we suspect that the CCP is building the national database for organ trade. It is also widely reported that CCP is carrying a DNA test in the region under the glorified of improving the quality of the life of Uyghurs. And that is, I believe, it's a lie. Thank you.